Welcome back. Imagine waking up one day to find your biggest dreams have actually become reality. The life you've always longed for is now manifested in front of you. What if I told you this isn't just wishful thinking? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to start asking the universe like this, and then your manifestation will get done. The universe isn't some far off disconnected force. Instead, it's alive and responsive, always attuned to the deepest wishes of your heart. When you learn to speak the universe's language, you take charge of your own fate. What most people struggle with is asking from a place of fear, doubt, and scarcity. They plead with the universe as, as if they're begging for scraps, but this doesn't work. You know, the universe responds mm -mm, not to desperation, but to faith, to the unwavering belief that what you desire is already yours. How do you ask in a way that brings results? This brings me to the first key of why your imagination is your creative force. Some people have trouble imagining, so let's first break this down before we move on. What exactly is imagination and how does it work? Imagination is just your mind's ability to see possibilities and scenarios that haven't yet appeared in the physical world. It serves as a bridge between the unseen potential of the universe and the reality you experience. Think childhood. We imagined all the time, everything. None of that was in reality yet, but we could see it and visualize it as though it was. This is where visualizing comes into play in adulthood as well. If you find it challenging to visualize, think about it instead. Write about it instead. These are good tips for those who can't create vivid mental pictures. But try right now to think of something worth bringing into your life. So when you can visualize or think your desires with confidence and you see your dream life already in existence, you're sending a powerful signal that you're reaffirming that your dreams are already a reality. When you imagine something with clarity and conviction, the message says it's already done. Just like when you were a child and you might have thought, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a teacher, I want to be a coach, I want to be an astronaut. And those who saw it vividly enough for long enough actually became that, something that they wanted badly enough. The universe and the subconscious doesn't differentiate between what's real and what's imagined. It just moves you toward it just the same way. It simply responds to the energy of your thoughts and feelings. If your dream is to manifest your ideal home, first imagine what it looks like from the outside. See yourself walking in through the front door. Feel the door handle as your hand is opening it for the very first time. See how it looks as you step in and feel the floor beneath your feet. Smell your favorite scent filling the air. See the furniture and the decor that you love. The more specific and vivid your imagination, the more you'll align yourself with the energy of that dream and the more real it's going to feel. That's the trick. That's, that's how this all happens. Another approach is to start by acting as if your desires are already a reality. If you wanna manifest a loving relationship, begin by treating yourself with the love and respect that you deserve, the same love and respect that you'd like from a partner. Go on solo dates, buy yourself flowers, speak kindly to yourself. By embodying the energy of love, you're naturally attracting more of it into your life. But imagination goes beyond simple visualizing of your desires. The second key to fast manifestation also requires assuming the feeling as though it's already fulfilled, that your wish is already fulfilled. This is where the law of assumption comes into play. This law tells us that whatever you assume to be true, the universe will manifest it in your life. When you feel as though your desires are already a reality, you're syncing up with the energy of abundance, of love, success. You're letting the universe know that you're prepared to receive the blessings. So how do you harness this creative force? You first have to decide to get very clear on what you truly do want. What does your life really look like in its ideal way? What kind of relationships and experiences and abundance do you want to bring into your world? The next step is to engage your senses, to dream about it, to, you know, to daydream about it. Try to bring in the sounds, smells, or even tastes. The more fully you immerse yourself in this mental experience, the more real it'll become into your mind, your subconscious, your neurology, all of it. The law of assumption tells us that what you believe to be true 
the universe will help you make real. So when you act as though your wishes have already been fulfilled, you realign yourself with that frequency of abundance of all things. You're sending a clear message that you're ready to receive, that you're worthy of achieving your dreams. And here's the exciting part too. And once you do ask the universe in this way, manifestation becomes inevitable. Things will start to align themselves in the outer world. People and opportunities that are for you will begin to show up on your path. This leads us to the third key to fast manifestation. But this principle goes beyond simply making positive assumptions. It's about actually living in the end now, embodying that feeling that your desires have already manifested. When you live in the end, you're no longer waiting. You're no longer hoping. You're no longer striving. You're no longer putting that distance out there. You're living right now as though they've already come true. And this shift in mindset is profound. Most people spend their lives in a state of longing, of always feeling like they're missing something. Has this ever been you? They think they'll be happy once they reach their goals. I'll be happy when this happens. I'll be happy when I lose weight. I'll be happy when I have enough money. The law of assumption is a powerful principle that has the potential to help you right where you're at in your current circumstances. It has the potential to change your life in extraordinary ways. It teaches us that what we believe to be true right now, the universe will make a reality. When you assume that you're deserving, of everything that you can see for yourself, then you will be responded to. The universe responds by sending more of that into your life. When you assume that your dreams are within reach, the universe will move mountains to help you achieve them. To recap quickly, it's the power of your imagination or vivid thoughts combined with assuming that you already have what it is you desire through the law of assumption and then amping it up with living in the end as though you are living it right now today, thereby bringing your future into your current reality right now. Remember, the universe is always listening. So ask with confidence, feel with confidence, own it with confidence, and trust that what you desire is already done. Stay tuned for part two of this where we'll unlock the final piece of this manifestation puzzle. If you're ready to transform your life, don't miss it. Make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell so you're the first to know when the next episode drops. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next one. Happy manifesting.